Good morning guys, Teacher A here and welcome to Gurung Pinoy sa Amerika. So for today, ang topic natin ay Evaluating Algebraic Expressions. So paano ba natin isosolve yung isang expression na merong numbers and letters? So paano natin kukunin yung value niya? So example number one. So dun muna tayo sa simple and given. So, example number one, evaluate the given if x is equal to 10. So, ang given natin ay x minus 5. Para makuha yung value niya, gagamitin natin yung substitution method or ipa-plug in natin yung value ng x. So, ano ba si x? Based sa given, 10 siya. So, therefore, sa halip na x, isusulat natin yung value niya which is 10. Now, after palitan yung value ng x, Kopyahin natin yung rest ng given, which is minus 5. And then, isolve na natin siya. So, 10 minus 5, therefore, the answer is 5. So, ganun lang siya, kasimple. Next, example number 2. So, simple lang ulit yung given natin. Evaluate the given if, x, if y is equal to negative 4. So, kapag nakita niyo yung number tsaka na yung letter na sinulat na magkasama, that means yung operation involved is multiplication. So, si y multiply kay 3. So, again, ang gagawin natin is i-substitute natin or i-plug in natin yung volume ni y which is negative 4. So, kopyahin natin si 3. And then, palitan si y. Ano ba si y? Base a given, negative 4. 3y means 3 times y, so that means 3 times negative 4. Now, pwede na natin siyang isolve. 3 times negative 4 i negative 12. Therefore, ang answer natin sa number 2 i negative 12. Next. So, number 3, evaluate the given if x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 3. Wherein, ang ating expression ay 2x minus 3y. Nakalimutan ko si y. There. So, paano gagawin natin? Again, i-plug in natin si x at saka si y. So, habang pinapalitan natin si x at si y, yung rest ng ating expression ay kokopyahin natin. So, kopyahin si 2. And then, palitan si x. Based sa given, it is 5. So, 2x is a 2 times 5. And then minus, copyhand it is 3. May variable na naman tayo, which is y. Palitan si y, which is 3. So, 3y is a 3 times 3. Now, pag ganito ang given natin, susundin natin yung order of operations. Wherein, magmumultiply muna tayo bago tayo mag-subtract. So, 2 times 5 ay 10. Minus, 3 times 3 ay 9. Now, ito na lang ang given natin. So, 10 minus 9 is equal to 1. Therefore, the answer for number 3 is positive 1 or simply 1. Next, example number 4. Okay, so ang given natin, evaluate the expression if x is equal to 2 and y is equal to negative 4. So, yung expression natin ay x squared minus 3xy plus 2y squared. Again, ang first step natin is i-substitute natin or i-plug in yung values ng mga variables. So, ano yung x natin? Ang x natin ay positive 2. So, 2. And then squared. And then kopyahin natin minus 3. And then may variable na naman tayo which means papalitan na naman natin siya ng number Ang x ay 2. So, palitan natin siya ng 2. And then, followed by y. Based given, si y ay negative 4. And then, kopyahin si plus 2. And then, y. So, ano ulit si y? Negative 4. There. So, ngayon, puro numbers na lang siya. Isosolve na natin siya following the PEMDAS rule. Which means, dito sa given expression, Ang susolve muna natin ay ang ating exponent and then yung mga parentheses. Yung mga naka-parentheses, they are multiplication lang. Okay? So, 2 squared, ibig sabihin, 2 times 2, that will give us 4. And then, 3 or negative 3, 
yung minus sign na to, pwede mong kuunin siyang sign ng 3. So, yung minus 3, pwede rin siyang sabihin negative 3. So, negative 3 times 2 ay negative 6 times negative 4. So, negative 6 times negative 4 is positive 24. So, magiging plus 24 na to. Okay? And then, positive 2, kasi plus 2 siya, times negative 4, that will give us negative 8. Yan. So, since plus and minus na lang ang given natin, that means pwede na natin siyang isolve from left to right. So, 4 plus 24 ay 28. And then, minus 8. Therefore, ang final answer natin ay 20. So, ang answer natin dito sa given example na to ay positive 20. Next example. Okay, so yung last example natin, evaluate the given if x is equal to negative 1, y is 3, and z is equal to negative 2. Wherein, ang ating expression ay 1 half parenthesis or times 2x squared minus 4y plus 5z. Again, using substitution method, ang gagawin lang ulit natin ay lahat ng letters or variables dito, papalitan natin ng mga corresponding values nila. Habang kinokopya natin yung rest ng given. So, kopyahin si 1 half. And then, parenthesis. And then, si 2. And then, x. Ano yung value na x? Based sa given, it's negative 1. So, palitan natin siya ng negative 1. And then, naka-square siya. So, kapihin natin yung exponent. Since may parenthesis tayo, gawin natin tong ganyan. And then, kapihin si minus 4. So, minus 4. And then, y. Palitan uli natin. Yung value niya is 3. So, times 3. And then, plus, kapihin si 5. Z. Ano si Z? Negative 2. Ayan. So, following the PEMDAS rule, uunahin natin yung may exponent dito sa loob ng grouping symbol. So, si 1 half, kakapyahin lang muna natin siya. 1 half. And then, 2, kakapyahin natin. Then, negative 1 squared. Simplify natin. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. And then, since nakahiwalay naman itong mga to, pwede na natin siyang isolve separately. So, Si minus 4, pwede natin sabihin na negative 4. So, negative 4 times 3 ay negative 12. So, isusulat natin siya as minus 12. And then, positive 5 times negative 2 ay negative 10. So, pwede natin siya sabihin na minus 10. There. Now, simplify natin to Solve natin yung 2 times 1. So, copy and delete natin si 1 half. 2 times 1 ay 2. Then, kopyahin natin yung rest ng nasa loob ng grouping symbol. Minus 12 minus 10. So, still, following the PEMDAS rule, dito muna tayo sa loob ng parenthesis. So, therefore, kopyahin natin si 1 half. Then, parenthesis. Check natin kung ano magiging value sa loob. 2 minus 12 ay negative 10. Minus 10, so negative 10 minus 10 ay negative 20. So therefore, ang final na isusolve natin ay 1 half times negative 20. So ano ba yung 1 half times negative 20? That will give us negative 10. So therefore, ang answer natin sa ating last example ay negative 10. So ganun lang siya kasimple. Kung natuto kayo sa ating video, kindly give me a like. Para i-share to ni YouTube sa iba. So that's it for today guys. See you on my next video. Paalam!